three ads. Let's check it out. We're going to run the first uh, position Dorian scale. Um, let's run it together. this little riff just to give it a bit of groove, something to bounce off. Riff goes like this. Put your A minor, C and D. And for the C and for the D you can just uh, drop the bass out and just bar these. from that riff one more time. Right, so we've just run Dorian, first position, about halfway up. Yeah? Starting from the root. So let's get the next root and run it up the end. Yeah? With the riff, nice and slow, it's gonna sound like this. It's a weird one, this. Oh yeah, this note, this note here, right here, the six. I'm rolling from that six into the air with the same finger. And these the same thing as well. A little roll there, yeah, so. Alright, 
right, let's jam that out to the riff. around the blues huh? we've looked at that sort of first position shape now I want to give you another shape another position I like to call it some sort of a, a Dorian modal position okay so just uh, follow along Learn it, just split it in half like we did the other riff. Check this out. Let's run the second half of the riff. It's from this root. I'm going to stop on that flat three. Yeah, yeah. So from the root. Oh, sorry, sorry. Alright, 
that, so I'm thinking that a good way to practice this stuff is get yourself a drone in the background, just constant drone. I'll put a link for one, and um, just riff it over. We're going to run four times with the enclosure, then four times on the high one with the enclosure. Then we're going to run the modal shape, which is going to be enclosure back down. And then we're going to run that modal shape again, but higher. So from the root to the flat three, and then enclosed. All right, let's give it a little go. Um, Play this on together. And the cool thing about practicing with a drone is that uh, you're not locked in a beat. You know when you first when you first practice him, and you're not massively familiar with the shapes. And if you're locked in a beat, I don't know. I find you can sort of panic and rush and just sort of um, try to speed up. So whack yourself a drone on, and then you can do stuff like this. And then you're a bit stuck, so you can just uh, you don't have to wait for the whole beat to go around. You can just go. You know, you can take your time. Right, so we've been alternate picking these. But you could also, good practice, try some legato, which is you're just hammering on. You're just hammering on the notes. You pick it once, and you let your fingers do the rest of the work. Yeah? So you're just picking it once. fingers just hammer on those notes. Um, you can just give me an example of what that sound like. And then bring that enclosure just again to finish it off. And uh, actually this legato works even better with the with the modal. 
mind because it's uh, sort of it's got three notes per string one two three one two three one two three so you can just do loop do loop and just um, slide over it. Get the idea. So yeah, once you've got the alternate picking down, have a little go at legato. Good practice. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's practice the legato together because me legato is pretty rusty. So uh, yeah, let's run the whole thing through. Let's do um, let's do uh, let's do twice over each one. All right. Here we go. Yeah, the sweet thing about this is with that riff between each scale, um, you keep a real groove. Yeah, it just keeps you wanna keeps you wanna practice. 